Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle and it is time for another meltdown video. This is where I give you thoughts on what I've melted in my home over the last week. And as usual, we're going to start with Scentsy because I love it. And then we will move on to the wax melting challenge and then random bits after that. First and foremost, we have to talk Scentsy and we have to talk the two new Mother's Day scents that are launching on April 1st that are the talk of the tube lately. <laughs> These are polarizing scents. Um, anyway, let's start with Blue Coconut Beach. This is Lush Palm Leaf Shades Creamy Coconut and Whipped Vanilla Beneath a Bright Blue Sky. Now, Cold Sniff, ooh, love it. Loved it at first. Warmed two cubes at work and got mm, kind of like an uncooked tortilla or piece of bread. It was very odd, very odd note scent that I was getting. I actually turned it off and took it out because I was not liking what I was smelling. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I have a trouble smelling, I have a trouble? I have trouble smelling vanilla sometimes like vanilla bean buttercream hardly smell anything this has i think a lot of vanilla in it <laughs> and coconut also sometimes comes off waxy smelling to me this i think has lots of coconut in it so i was like i don't know what hopefully it smells different at home because i loved how it smelled on cold right warm it here in this room six cubes because of the vanilla thinking it, you know couldn't smell it that well maybe the more the merrier right still very light scent for me but at least here at home in this room i got a little more of that body care type perfuminess that's in here and not like a tortilla not that tortillas smell bad it was just not right um but overall, just know if you have a trouble, if you have, why do I keep saying a trouble? If you have trouble smelling vanilla, this might be an issue for this scent for you as well. I won't be buying more. Um, as far as the coconut in it, I think it's a little waxy for me. Anyway, I just kind of got a little bit of a generic body care type scent in this room and it was still super light barely could smell anything so that's that scent won't be buying more next scent if you saw my first sniffs of this you know my first impression of it wildflower cotton this is zesty lemon and wildflower bright and lime dried cotton among sun-kissed woods first sniffs loved this scent Loved it. Even as I kept going through other wax and warmers, I kept going and I'm sorry, y'all, I gotta sniff it, right? Okay, if you watched that video until the very end, I put like a minute clip added to the end about the scent because first sniffs, I was getting more floral and like laundry cotton type scent. I was trying to think of a scent name, never could, so I didn't say it, but it reminds me of scents that are called like denim or blue jeans or blue jean, I guess. Any, if you've ever smelled a scent like that, to me, that's what this smells like. Um, toward the end of the video, after I finished recording it and putting stuff up, of course, I kept sniffing the wax, I then got more woods in here than I initially got, and I talked about, you know, I get more woods here, but it says sun-kissed woods. So I don't know what sun-kissed woods is because it's a little different than your normal average wood note, and I still say that. It's like a warm, a warm wood, not like a spicy wood, I guess, how you would normally think of a wood note. Anyway. And then, 
I melted it in my our bedroom, average size room with an you know ensuite attached to it, and I get the floral, but I also get this warm woods with it, and a little bit of the laundry reminds me, like I said, of a denim type scent. So if you like those, try this. Ness was watching everyone's <laughs> reviews and comparing it to sandalwood tangerine. I was like, what? Nah, -uh. I hated sandalwood tangerine when it came out last Father's Day, right? And more and more, like everyone I watched sniff that scent would say that. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what's going on here. I gotta go back and smell sandalwood tangerine. So I grabbed my tester because obviously I hated it when I first smelled it last year. So I didn't, I, I used the one bar that I had and that's it. Anyway, I know this is story time, right? <laughs> I grabbed this, I smell it, I'm like, it kind of does. The woodsy note that, um, it's a little more spicier wood than what I get with the wood wildflower cotton. But yes, I can definitely see the comparison. I do, however, get a smoother uh, warm wood rather than the spicy wood with the wildflower cotton. And I also get the wildflower. I get um, a floral note in there, but it is definitely very warm and heavy like denim not a bright you know light floral laundry type scent so anyway yeah i'm gonna leave it at that i am gonna buy uh, as far as performance i would say at best medium um i warmed it in our room and then i warmed it in this room and it did about the same so and they usually do by the way perform different strengths in those two rooms in comparison anyway it's a little lighter usually in our room versus this room because i guess there's the ensuite added to it whatever anyway i think i still like this but i will admit not as much as i did on first sniffs I'm, i'll be honest <laughs> so I will be buying more. Is it a club scent? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. But, oh, my tough puppy's going to go protect me. <laughs> you hear him growling. It's okay. Jake. He's going to go check things out. Okay. So, I, like I said, I got this out. And I even melted it, sandalwood tangerine. Oh, I should probably read you the notes for that. So, I don't have the bar to show you, but here is my tester. Sandalwood tangerine is white cedar and a spritz of tangerine brighten sandalwood groves. So, yeah. Definitely woody. The best way I can describe it is a, a spicy wood. Um... I wouldn't say a peppery wood, but a spicy. It's not a creamy or a bright or a warm. Anyway, I don't know that I would want more of this, but I don't hate it anymore. It was okay. It was just okay. And that I have to just chalk up to my preferences changing maybe over the last, what, 10 months, 9 months, whatever it has been. All right. Moving on from the polarizing scents, we'll talk about Kikui and Coconut. Um, this is Tropical Coconut and Kikui Nut Lounge on a Bed of Soft Jasmine. So, a very creamy, nutty, kind of woody scent with a very perfumey jasmine. I think I want to love this scent, but when it comes down to it, I have it in hand soap, and I have it in pods, and I have it in this, and honestly, when it's warming, I'm not a huge fan. 
I want to love it because it is very unique. And honestly, I could see people also comparing Kukui and Coconut with Wildflower and Cotton because they both have that nutty, woody kind of um, base and a floral kind of top. Anyway, just saying. Okay, next I warmed again another scent that I didn't really care for originally when it came out, a peeling apple. I wanted to make sure that I tried. <laughs> Sorry, I need both hands. I wanted to make sure that I gave this one another shot. When it first came out as the scent of the month in June of 21, it was super floral to me. So, um... It says, sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. So it's not near as floral to my nose now. I don't know why, whatever. It is, and I love sweet scents. It is super sweet. But it's not like a normal apple scent with added sweetness. The apple scent is candied like like a piece of candy that is apple flavored, not an apple with sweetness added, if that makes sense. Um, I guess an artificial apple, if we're actually just coming down to the point, kind of an artificial apple, a sweet artificial candy type apple. Not a candy apple, <laughs> but a Jolly Rancher. Let's say like an apple Jolly Rancher, but red apple. And a little bit of floral, but not a bad scent. I do like it. Uh, I just don't not like it anymore. Um, I think I prefer Apple Teeny Splash and, of course, my Apple Press, um, which is not currently available, but at least Apple Teeny Splash is. Um, it also, we had top, mid, and base notes for that one when it came out. Earl Grey tea, pear, and juicy apple with mid note of green tea, jasmine, sweet pea. Base of spring crocus, white moss, and musk. I don't get musk. <laughs> I don't get musk or any kind of moss. Um, I don't even know what crocus is. <laughs> Let's look it up. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's a flower. Yep. A flower. Mm -hmm. It's in the iris family, in case you're wondering. Anyway. So, quite a few floral notes. And honestly, to me, this past week, it's just a candy apple, like Jolly Rancher apple scent. So, anyway, it's a great scent. Not for me. I'm glad I gave it another try, though, because I'm telling you, like, the first time in, when it first came out, I got so much floral, it was a hard no. All right, I did a mix this past week, and we've talked about this mix before, but let's talk about it again. Clean Breeze and Coconut Palm. Clean Breeze is currently in the catalog. It just says white florals with a touch, white florals with a touch of spring, a fresh, clean laundry scent. And it is just almost basic, but not quite laundry type scent. I'm kind of bummed they took that out of the laundry collection, but whatever. <laughs> and then I mixed it with coconut palm which is a blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes. I don't get any patchouli here. I don't even know that I get green notes, but I'm guessing that all of that just kind of lends to the unique coconut, um, I almost said flavor, scent. You know, you kind of get some of that husk from the outside and then the meatiness from the inside. Anyway. I really like this. As far as a coconut scent goes, and a coconut scent I can smell, I'd say this is probably my favorite coconut scent that Scentsy has. Unfortunately, it's not currently available. Um, it was in the Bring Back My Bar in January. Anyway, 
and I mixed Clean Breeze with Coconut Palm to give me kind of a coconut cotton type scent and they are great together one to one ratio highly recommend strong performers together especially and yeah can't i cannot recommend that enough and then another one i get I, this video, this week is about giving things a second chance <laughs> whipped vanilla lavender sweet coconut milk and whipped vanilla soothed by english lavender i will say i think the main reason this is not on my radar to purchase more is because it's light it is too light for me even you know in an average size bedroom i will say what i do get that is super light is very nice but it's almost more a laundry scent to me than it is, I guess, a distinct lavender scent. A lavender laundry, I guess. And I... Coconut milk? Eh. I guess there's a little bit of creaminess to this, but yeah, I wish it were stronger. I would probably really like it if it were stronger. And that brings up... So, if you see here, this one is from May of last year. So, this one has cured some time. There's no date in it that I can even vaguely see. But I know I have my May 22 sticker on there. So, this is going on a year old. And if I remember correctly, last year when it came out, I could not smell it at all all unless I was right at the warmer this time in an average size bedroom I could smell it a few feet away <laughs> I'll put it that way as I was walking up to it not right at it so I guess it got a little stronger but it's had this long to cure and it's still not even strong enough for an average size bedroom for me great scent though if you like lavender scents in general, give it a try. Now that I think about it, my mom might actually like this scent because it is light. Yeah, maybe I'll buy, I need to buy one at least for her to try out and see what she thinks. Okay. Oh, non-wax for Scentsy. I finally finished up. <gasps> huh, look at this. Aloe water and cucumber. I dated this on the bottom because a long time I wasn't dating them and I didn't had no idea how long they were lasting. I just knew it felt like forever. Anyway, December 1st of 22 is when this was dated and it is, I can still smell aloe water and cucumber here, but it is not like oily feeling anymore. So I'd say pretty dried out. It could probably scent a little space like a, uh, I don't know, locker or something very small still but it, i'm calling it done um now to get going with to keep with scentsy actually but jump into the challenge let's talk about i think i am melting this right now for the 28th a scent that your family loves what what do you think my family loves? It's a Scentsy scent. <laughs> what do I love? Uh, I'll come, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. Blast of bright pomegranate, juicy cherry, sugar cane, and vibrant orange, turning red, Disney scent. Love this scent. I get all of that goodness. That bright pomegranate and that juicy cherry and the zingy orange. And the sweetness from the sugar and my husband likes this too I think my daughter likes this she doesn't live here anymore though but anyway in my club so yes that's what I'm melting for the family loves scent um let's go to 
Okay, so we talked about the scent that the family loves, which was Scentsy. Now, let's start from where the week began for the wax challenge. First is Destination Wax Ocean. This is very nice. Fresh, salty ocean breeze with ozone. It says a great blender. I could see this being a great blender. It is comparable, I would say, to Scentsy's Ocean. Not quite as um, concentrated, I guess. There's not quite as much blue aquatic type scent here, but good. That's a repurchase for me. I would repurchase this, although I will say I wish it was stronger. It was at best a medium. All right, and day 23 is melt a scent you fell in love with. I don't even know how to explain how much I love this scent. It is American Cream by Kay's Scented Melts. This is cream and honey with vanilla, milk, strawberry, and citrus in notes of lavender and clary sage. This is compared to Lush American Cream. I don't have a Lush near me. I think I did smell it um, once at a mall I was in, but oh, I'm pretty sure I could smell this all day, every day, and be fine with it. Um, and I think I found my perfect uh, scent for the hard to scent bathroom that I always talk about. I can put one cube of this in the warmer in there and smell it almost a full week. Like, I love it in there. And I guess American Cream being from Lush, it is a bathroom scent, right? Anyway, it's creamy, it's soothing, it's calming, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, you, if you have not tried this, you have to try that one. Okay, cocktail scent now. The prompt was cocktail day, melt a cocktail style scent. That was the 24th and my choice for that is white strawberry Bellini from Yankee. This is another great scent. A blissful brunch companion sweetened by mango and pineapple swirled with strawberry in a sophisticated libation inspired fragrance. Top notes of strawberry, pineapple, and juicy orange. Mid notes of fresh mango, peach nectar, chilled sparkling wine, base of sugar. Yeah, a very fruity cocktail kind of just like you see on the um, label there. I don't usually like cocktail versions of scents, but this is one I can get behind and repurchase. Very nice. And a good performer. I wouldn't say super strong, but on the stronger side. Alrighty. Next day is 25, and that prompt is melt a laundry scent. I used K's White Linen, and this is a breezy fragrance that's similar to clean cotton. Citrus, lily, jasmine, rose with woods, amber, and musk. So, I, don't, I think it's comparing it to clean cotton from Yankee in that description. I would say this is better. Um, I guess a little more interesting is a better way to to say that, but this definitely has a, I guess a little bit of floral note to it, probably, and citrus, a floral and a citrus note that kind of blend together, I guess to make this that winter part, or white, I'm sorry, part of the linen. Yeah, I would recommend this one, and actually, it's giving me an idea for melting 
mixes. As I'm talking here, okay, it's a laundry scent with citrus, lily, jasmine, rose with woods, amber, and musk. So what if I added rose to clean breeze? Or even maybe a citrus scent to clean breeze? Anyway, yeah, I'm getting some thoughts there. Okay, moving on. The next day, the 26th. Melt a risky scent, one you shy away from. I think, I forget what the prompt was before, but I melted a, <clears throat> a Kringle scent that I ended up not liking. What was it? Um, it was the Lucky Gold Rainbow in the name scent on the 18th Kringle Golden Tobacco. Oh, I did not like that one. That was a no for me, but... For the risky day, number tw or day 26, I melted cognac and leather from Kringle. And this one was pretty good. Um, I mean, I wouldn't buy it in bulk, but it's nice. I get leather and cognac. Um, let's see. Oh, did I not? Yes, I did. Okay, so top notes of wood and tobacco, mid notes of rose and fruit, and base note of leather and musk. So I guess the tobacco, wood, rose, and fruit, maybe, combined, smell that like cognac. Mm. Anyway, not something I would melt all the time, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I would say an average performer. It wasn't light, it wasn't strong. Yeah, I might would repurchase that one again just to have around. And then, oh, <laughs> prompt for day 27 says, glam it up, melt a wax with glitter or mica or melt a sophisticated, classy scent. And I thought a bride is classy, right? Is glammed up. So I tried my Destination Wax Bride of, a, of the Century. This was more of a risky scent. Uh, lavender, chocolate, and pink roses are the scent notes. I don't mind this. I actually kind of am intrigued, cold, but melted. These did not go together to me. It t it's, I almost said it tasted. <laughs> It may have also tasted a little bit in the air, but it was not good. I did not like this combination. It did not smell like any of these things. No lavender, no chocolate, no pink roses, but like I said, cold, I get that. Warm, it's a no. Hard no. All right, and then we're on to today, to turning red. So there you go. Uh... Last but not least, I have just one candle. Just one little long candle that was in my crock. Oh, it was so good. And it's a new scent for me from Bath and Body Works, Glacier Mist. And, you know, a nice label, although in the crock you can't see it. By the way, if you're new to my channel, real quick, I melt candles in crocs or under lamps i do not use fire flame for candles um i use candles for scent not for flame fire whatever uh for me my warmers my candle lamps give me the ambiance i guess that most people might get from flame i just don't like flame plus i get a weird note i get that uh kerosene type scent so if you want more information on candle lamps or candle crocs, I have some videos on that. I'll link them in the description box below for you. Okay. Glacier Mist is cool eucalyptus, watery freesia, and lavender. So I thought all of those, I have to love this scent, and I do. It is fresh. It is floral, lavendery coolness. <laughs> I guess all at the same time. Anyway. When the, what, $12.95 sale, I think that they had a couple weekends ago, what, two weekends ago maybe now, when they had that, 
I bought a second one of this because I had a feeling I would like it and I'm so glad that I did. So I have one more of this scent. Mm. I can still smell it in the lid, of course, but this is unscented at this point. Oh, I guess I could show you that. So when you put things in the candle crock, the wicks do not stay stuck to the bottom. They float around. You never light them after you use them in a crock because the crock melts the entire candle. The whole thing's melted. A lamp, though, only melts like the top inch or so. All right. That's that. That wraps it up. I hope everyone has a great rest of your week. And let me know what you thought about my change in nose <laughs> from a year ago to today. Do you have that happen to you? It's it's weird. Even like an hour apart, I smell woods versus not as much wood. Anyway, let me know your um, stories if you have any on that like your nose changing and preferences even changing on a scent you smelled before and didn't like and then one you did like. So, all right, I will let you go. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.